South Africa. But you didn't tell me that before. Well, now you know. I'm going on business and I'll be there for two or three days. And you feel this is the best time for me to know? Why, why are you distressed? Did I tell you that I was going to South Africa for a picnic? Or to catch fun? Or to go and play football? I am going there on business. And that's what I used to feed you. And this your children? It's okay, Mom. But Dad, I thought you would be at my concert tomorrow. Didn't I warn you never, ever, to involve me in that shameless act you call dancing? Didn't I? But Dad, we have settled this. Settled what? You and who? Ah, and I spent money on this boy. I spent so much money on your law school. Only for you to abandon that noble profession and tell me that and you went to pick up dancing. That wretched poverty street. But dad! Dad! Don't butt me! Don't butt me! Listen, young man, whenever you are ready to settle down and face the noble, the noble profession of law, eh? And stop playing and lazing about, then you let me know. Okay? See, this is exactly what I've been telling you. Yelling and shouting at your children is not going to solve anything. You should sit him down and talk some sense into him. Bravo. Madam the advisor. You see me standing, a full grown man, yelling into his ears. And he refuses to listen. You see when I now sit him down and I'm rubbing his head and whispering into his ears that he will listen. 
rubbish. Maybe you should try that. But dad, he loves what he does and he's okay by it. Yeah. He'll be good at it. The same way you are good at feeling, right? Yes. You have done jam three good times. No admission to show for it. Do you even realize that you will soon be 18? Eh? Very soon, you will come to this house pregnant. Abby? Ah! Bunch of rubbish. What did you just say? Is that your family? You called your family bunch of rubbish? If I had worse words to use, I would use it on you. Now I know. Because you yourself must be a failure as a father. Moisa! Unduka! Moi Maga! Moisa! You are fired! Sir? You are fired! Maga! Sorry, sir! Sir? Maga!
Ah, you are quite a lucky man. Uh, Mr. Anyo Bola Matthew, right? No. Oh. Bola Matthew is the name. Oh, sorry. But that's what you have in your international passport. Then you better listen to what I have on my physical lips. That, I am Bola Matthew. Oh, Matthew. That's okay, sir. Sorry about that. So, uh, how are you feeling now? Are you feeling better? What am I doing here? And you, when you went to the airport yesterday and you slumped and they rushed you to our hospital. In fact, you have been in coma for the past 27 hours. Thank God you even survived it. <sighs> My God. But I was feeling very healthy when I left home. <sighs> Doctor, what is happening? Well, um, it's, it's part of the things I'm trying to find out right now. And you are the only one that can help me here. Doctor, that will have to wait. I should be in a business meeting right now. Wow. Um, I would have loved to release you as soon as I can. But there are some thing, questions I need you to answer for me, please. Uh, when last did you visit the hospital? I can't remember. Maybe five or six months ago. Uh, but one, one thing I remember is... <coughs> sorry, sorry. I was rushed to the hospital, exactly the same way I was brought here. Wow. Okay, okay. So what, what was the helmet or the symptoms we were having at the time? I think it was severe headache and I think some kind of fever also. I can't even remember. Oh, okay. So what did the doctor say about that? He gave me some drugs for the severe headache. Well, is it to reduce or to stop the headache? Ah, no. The headache didn't stop. Oh. In fact, sometimes it gets so severe that it almost gets out of control. Wow. And what did the doctor say about that? Yeah, he told me to do some tests and even scan. Oh, scan? Yeah. So, what about the scan results? Ah, doctor, I didn't go back for it. He told me to come back in two days time. I was just too busy, doctor. How do I get that kind of time? Okay. Anyway, um, can you give me the details of the hospital and the doctor's contact? No, sir. I was already on my way to the airport as early as 8 a.m. No. I'm telling you the truth, sir. I just woke up to find myself on an hospital bed. I will handle it, sir. I will handle it, sir. Hello? Hello, sir. Hmm. Anyway, Mr. Matthew, I hope you are feeling quite well right now. Anyway, um, I've already spoken to your company doctor, um, Silver Line Medical Hospital. And um, anyway, the situation seems um, dicey, uh, but I can assure you all will be well. He has promised to, beg to get back to me. So as soon as we have additional information, I will let you know. I need to leave this place. What did you say? I said I need to leave this place. Huh. I'm 28 hours behind on a business meeting in SA. Don't you get? Sir, it seems you don't understand what is happening right now. You are just coming out of coma. And I need to find out the cause and be sure that you are safe before discharging you. And it seems you don't understand that I'm talking about millions of dollars worth of contracts here. <sighs> Sir, I'm talking about your life here. You're not even my doctor. Doctor, yes. you have an emergency call from Silver Line Hospital. Oh, Silver Line Hospital? Yes, yeah, I think yeah. on this case. Oh, it's alright. I'll, I'll be there. I'll be there. Ah, Mr. Matthew, please relax. I'll be right back.
But how come you didn't tell him all this? He did come back for the result of the scan. It is not in our practice to do anything in the absence of the patient. Hey, it's alright, it's okay, it's okay. So, what, what date exactly is on the report? October 5th, last year, exactly 7 months, 2 days ago. From this report, he can't survive 7 months. Wait! Do you say he's still alive? That man is a living dead. He can fall dead any moment from now. My God! Did you say 7 months? Mr. Oh, sorry, Mr. Bola, but I told you to sit in your bed. Doctor, <laughs> please tell me, Doctor, what is wrong with me? I will, but at the appropriate time. No, tell me now. Not now. Now, Doctor. Not now. No, for crying out loud. Tell me what is wrong with me. Bring two more. Okay. Okay. How large is it? Very big. In fact, it has matured. You should have started your medication seven months ago. Am I gonna die? No, 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 no. I don't want you to see it that way. You see? You are... Tell me the truth, Doctor! How long do I have left? Shouting and anger will not help you at this time. It will only shorten your time. Just tell me the truth. How long do I have left, Doctor? I had you said seven months? Yes. Seven. Hey, God. Several months. Maybe, maybe, maybe just seven hours. <laughs> oh, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. I'll ask the nurse to get additional details. Eh? I, I'll, I'll reach out to your family as soon as I can. And then um, I'll, I'll get other details. Um, eh? Please. It's, not it's okay. Mr. Matthew. I'm discharging myself. I have to leave this place. You can't go now, please. Nurse, what time is it? This is 15 minutes to 10. Seven hours. Seven hours. That's all I have left, nurse. Hello? That means by 5 p.m. this evening, I'll probably be dead. Right? Seven hours. Seven hours. And you expect me to lie down on this bed? Doing what? Tell me. Say my last prayers. Or perhaps I should be writing my autobiography. No, I have to go and do something tangible with my remaining seven hours on this planet, nurse. Doctor. me to spend the remaining seven years, seven hours of my life lying down. Where's my key? Mr. Matthew, Mr. Matthew, you can't leave. Doctor, you can't go. 
go! Where is my key? Mr. Martin, you have to be on the bed right now. I want my key. It's too risky, you can't go! Mr. Matthew! Mr. Matthew! You must be on the bed! Doctor, what can happen to my order? See, this your guy is a very stubborn man. Hey, oh, he hey, must hey. be on the bed right now. Hey, doctor, what can I go do now? Nah. You have to do everything possible. Hey, oh. We must get him on the bed right now. Hey, oh. It's too risky. Oh, what kind of man is this? Send someone else to South Africa for the job. Yes, I did. But I will need you to take the place of Mr. Osime in a program here in Lagos. You know, he was actually booked to represent the company in that program. He has to go to South Africa in your place. <laughs> okay. So, what if I didn't come to work today? Actually, I also prepared Mrs. Oji to go. <laughs> but now that you are around, Mr. Martin, mm. you know that you are the best man for this job. <laughs> I understand. So. You Matthew, see, Matthew. <laughs> the truth is that, sir, yes. I am nothing. Mm -hmm. but an expendable factor to this organization. Sir, here is my resignation letter. I quit. Matthew? Oh no. If this is because of what I said to you on the phone, I am deeply sorry. Please, I quit. Matthew, Okay, I understand. Matthew, I will increase your salary. I said I could it. Ah. Okay then. Let me give you one month vacation in Canada. And I will also approve 10 million Naira car loan for you. Is that going to buy me extra life? Or purchase more hours for me to live on this planet? Rubbish! Papa. Hold your job! Matthew! Thank you! Matthew! Papa! Matthew! This is unbelievable! What else do you want me to do for you, Matthew? Sorry, I better come enter inside moto. I said you are fired. Ah, hey, oh, oh God, I beg. My oh God, I beg now. Oh God, me, I beg. Oh God, I beg now. Oh God. My oh God.
for my town. They they say one thing. In do the easy, life is easy. Okay, me I don't know you, but you see, or you more they talk and say, problem shared like this is half solved. Not be so now they talk and say, okay. Anything where they do you, just talk calm. This is the way they do like this, is where you day here. I don't know you, but not the tone, not the verse, but it's not too good. See, my person they think like overthink, they cause so many things for body, and it's not good. It's not good. Now, because me like you, I tell you, my brother, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. What if your doctor were to tell you that you have less than seven hours to live? Tell me. What would you do? Me? Lala? Wait. <laughs> Save us. Huh? A serious one, no? Huh? Seven hours. Okay, see, I'm not going to lie to you. What I'm going to do be say? I have to find one room. Lock myself. Lock myself inside that room. Come on, they cry. Right. Ha. I go miss so many things. I go miss so many people. Where I want to start? Seven hours. It's too short though. You will cry for seven hours? No. Seven hours. I want to know easy. Mm. Mm. That one. I, I get another thing I have to do. I get another thing I have to do. See, another thing I have to do be saying. Now to gather plenty money, come buy plenty drinks. I will come drink. Now which I like with that too. Now which me I like. Now here they tell you so. Come buy plenty drink. Come drink myself, eh? I go drink, enjoy myself. You know easy. If I reach heaven like this, my mind go to uh, at least. You, you you will drink for seven hours. No, no, no I don't like that idea. I know that's the one I feel do. Me oh, me, me as a person. What I feel do be say. No, the kind of life where I live, no be one kind of life. I know so it's different from your home, but no be one kind of life where good like that. Now to gather my family them. With my Pekin and my wife, now to have nice time with them for like six hours. See, you get people where they get matter with, who they get with, who they, they quarrel like that, who get one kind of this thing. But my Juro, for my company, we know they talk. This woman, they always find my trouble. So me and now, we know agree. So that kind of person, I will go settle matter with them. We go deal on good notes. You understand? You understand? So I go settle with my family them. Settle with my picking, play with them. They go miss me. You understand? They go miss me. If I don't go. So well, what about the remaining one hour? <laughs> that one hour you see they ask. See what I go do for that one hour? Meal. Now to have one final sex with my wife. Okay, you don't know no say those women that they try. See. If for them to leave their papa house, leave their own for my name, can they handsome our name, they build one word with us. You know easy. If you can't die for that kind of person hand like this, <laughs> you know no say go good. Thank you, my friend. Aye. Okay, if not here, I go go village, go meet her, who for my my love. You get up. <laughs> you can roll up, tight up, before I give up, okay? Not comfort. Not comfort person with this. Not comfort. Come take drink. Unduka. So you have one for mine in the village? Oh God, it's not my fault oh. I don't help myself. I wish I could make a map but... Uh, I got no verse now. So you are hurting somebody too? I got no verse, sorry. I got a devil, no verse, I got. Welcome. Hey! Why can't you with 
Yeah, they had to do You the fight with them. And times I go have some. Come and open that gate for me and they go out to open the gate, idiot. Come and open that gate. Shake the gate. But now it burns up. Hey, make her they go. Hey! Hey, it's someone and make her they go back. Make her they go. We are home so early. Where are you coming from? Uh, your stuff. To get some stuff. Okay, please drop it. We need to talk. Okay, let me drop this quickly. No, 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 no. Drop it right here. We don't have much time. Please. Okay. I'm listening. Now you are going to remove your clothes, eh? So that we can quickly go inside the room and do it. Do what? There is no much time, please. I don't have much time. Let's go inside. To do what? Ha! To do what husbands and wives do now. On the bed. Naked. <laughs> when last did you do such? In the room. On the bed. When? Does that matter? It doesn't matter. I don't have much time. Please. Please. I'm sure you think sex is an automatic feeling. That disappears for more than 17 years. And suddenly reappears back. Why are you stressing me like this? Why are you interrogating me like this simply because I want to have sex with my wife? Why? <laughs> oh, so you remember now that you have a wife? I thought you are married to your job and your dead daughter. No. No, no, no. Ruth, don't go there. Don't bring Clara into this matter. Please. You lost every attribute of fatherhood and the ability to love as a husband since she died. You did. Yes. Please don't bring Clara into this, please. You've never been the same since she passed. You have not. Oh my God. I've been looking for you. Hey there, you can't just sit down here. We need to do something about Clara. Please. My dear, well I thought you said that concussion will work for her. Hey, concussion. Is that what we are going to rely on? Please, my dear, we need to take her to the hospital. But you know I don't have any money now. I don't have any money. Ah. Eh? You have to look for money. I can't afford to lose my child. Please, you have to look for money. Where are you going? of marriage is this? How did I even find myself in this situation? Oh my God! Oh! It's gonna be alright. 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 It's gonna be alright. Alright. Why It's gonna be It's gonna be alright, alright, alright. It's gonna be alright, alright. Why should you? It's gonna be alright, alright, alright. It's gonna be alright, alright. Wipe your tears. All right, all right, all right. It's gonna be all right, all right. Wipe your tears. Oh, Bessie, I call Lolo, I 
back, baby, bye bye. No matter what you face, just keep your focus. It's gonna be alright. Someday, remember that. It's gonna be alright, alright, my pretty. It's gonna be alright. You lost who? My brother, we are really sorry for the demise of your daughter, Clara. Uh, the Lord will console you. Okay. Mm -hmm. sir. Amen. The Lord will give you a better replacement. Amen, sir. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Um, what I'm about to say now, I'm not supposed to say it, but looking at uh, the projects, I mean, you are aware of the projects going on in the church. Uh, we've spent nearly everything we have. Okay. I have spent nearly all my more everything I have on the projects, and that is why uh, I have to say this. Uh, you know, the choir concert is about um, is coming up on Monday. Yes, sir. Uh, and that's yes, sir. about uh, five days to this time. The choir said they have some amount of money with you, which uh, they need to spend on the concert now. Uh, I hope the money is still uh, with you. What? Sir? I've spent all the money with me on Clara's hospital's bill. Including the choir money with you? <sighs> That's serious. All the same, you know, the work of God must go on. You understand? We can't stop the concert. The choir have invited so many people. Uh, so the, the money must be returned to the choir pulse. Do, do you understand what I mean, my brother? Yes, sir. There's no, we can't get money anywhere and we can't be telling them to contribute money again. So I believe that we'll be able to get the money by Friday. You mean this coming Friday, sir? Uh, yes, now. I mean, the concert is on Sunday. So they have only one day to buy whatever they want to buy. And I pray God will provide for you to be able to uh, pay this money back to their account by Friday. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. In fact, uh, let me pray with you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. we thank you for your son. We glorify your holy name for his life. We believe that you are going to provide for him. Even, you know, oh Lord, about two years ago when your son had an accident, an Okada accident, the church gave him a token to set to the hospital bill. You will not put him to shame this time around in Jesus' name. Amen. You will provide for him so that he'll be able to pay back this money by Friday latest in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. This Lord with you. Thank you, sir. Uh, my regards to your wife. Thank I, you, I, thank I you, want sir. to take my leave now. No problem, sir. Okay. Uh, thank this, you. Uh, Friday, eh? Okay, sir. Okay. The Lord will be with you. No problem, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir.
It's my daughter we are talking about for Christ's sake. It wasn't my pet that I lost. She was my child as well. You are not a mother. Ah! <laughs> Excuse me. Did she tell you I was the one that killed her? Or was it Charles or Charity that did? It's your first daughter we are talking about here, Ruth. Thank God. <laughs> you finally realized she was my daughter. And I also feel the pain deep inside of me. I do. Okay. Please. I'm sorry. Please, let's go into the bedroom and do this thing. I don't have time. Please. Please, let's go. Hey! Leave me! Ruth! Ruth! Drill this? I never even knew that she could draw like this. Oh. I never even knew that she had such a talent. Oh. oh my daughter, how I must have hurt you so much. I, I... I wish I could have just one more chance to hold you in my hands and tell you how much I really love you. Oh, just one more chance. <laughs> the venue he wants to use for his program. I must go there. I must see my son and, and tell him that I love him. I must go. I must see my son to let him know how much I love him. <sighs> let me go. I must see my son. I will search for this address. I will see my son.
evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Please, do you work here? Uh, yeah, I want to discuss here. Thank you. Please, I'm looking for my daughter. Your daughter? Uh, what's her name? Uh, Bola Charity. Bola Charity. Please, probably you can call her. I'm sorry, I don't have a number of hand. You mean, don't have your daughter's number of hand? And you are a father? <laughs> I have two children, and I know their numbers of hand. Well, there is nothing I can do. There is nothing. Look at my life. I know the numbers of my secretary, my PA, my assistants. I know all their numbers of hand. Ah, but the numbers that matter most to me, I never knew them. Dr. Olakule. Are you Miss Matthew? Uh, yes, please. Your husband ran out of my hospital a few minutes ago after coming out of coma. Out of what? <laughs> you see, he has a fully grown brain tumor. What? And we must get him back to the hospital immediately. Uh, please, let me let me get my car keys. Ma, 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 don't don't bother. Let's go. I came with my car. No, please, let's go.
Lord, please give me strength. My strength is failing, Lord. Give me strength. I need to see my son. I want to see my son. I want to tell him that I love him. Lord, give me strength, please. The reward of my dance was seen happy with me. You carried me in your hands and rolled in the wind. Every little child cried, I sang instead. You clapped for me even when I wasn't saying it right. You were my biggest fan, my only fan. Even in the innocence of my adolescence, my every sense flows in the rhythm of your drums. I was raised by Hanyobola, then when Anyo and Bola were in unity. But of recent, in the face of my collapsing world, here is Anyo and here is Bola. Anyo's rented abode was a happy home, built with woods and sinks, at the heart of the Okobaba slum, down there in the Budemeta. Bola's mansion is a beautiful house, built with bricks and marbles. Anya never had enough. Bola has more than enough. Anya was happy. Bola was busy. Anya ignited the music in me. Bola made me a first class law graduate. The voice in me sings for Anya. The boy in me respects Bola. My legs want to dance. The world celebrates the dancer in me. Here I am, alone on the cross paths of Anya Bola. We Bola see the humble Anya in me and embrace me once again. I'm not too heavy. You can still carry me and roll in the wind. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hmm. I do not know by what time you will be watching this video. Whether morning, noon, or night. But one thing I know is that I'll be dead by the time you're watching this. I am a man who has made so many mistakes in my lifetime. And unfortunately, I never realized it until I had a mere seven hours to live on this planet Earth. Through the ticks, 
storm and the blowing winds. I see the future bring me with gorgeous smile. It's gonna be alright, alright, alright. It's gonna be alright, alright. Wipe your tears. No matter what you face, just keep your focus. It's gonna be alright. Someday remember that. It's gonna be alright, alright, my pretty. It's gonna be alright. Determination and focus will push you through. The future is in your hands. You don't want to give up. It's gonna be alright, alright. Why pretend? It's gonna be alright, alright, alright. It's gonna be alright. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me give you some money. Oh, no. Don't worry, sir. Just give me your address. I will drop it. Go ahead and enjoy the show. Okay. 
Please come in and enjoy the show. Enjoy. Enjoy. Come on behind me. We can't afford him. She can't find him. She can't find him. Man, he's his father. He has to. But he is in the middle of something very important. He will spoil his mood if he hears such. Let's join him. Let's join him. Do you know where this address is? <laughs> where, 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 where are, you, are, are you going? I'm going to this address. Which, 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 which address? Address. Can't you see what I'm showing you? Can't you just say, say the, the address? Okay. 159 Flower Street, Flower Crescent, Ikeja, GR. Oh, you, you mean the, the street? The, 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 the other street? I don't know, that's why I'm asking you. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, whoa! Is the color <gasps> color of, of, of the house? If I yeah. knew the color of the place I'm going, will I be asking you at all? Rubbish. <laughs> started already. I've been waiting for you at the junction. Please hurry up. It's gonna be alright. 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 It's gonna be alright. Alright. Wipe your tears. It's gonna be alright. Alright. My sister. Good evening. Good evening, sir. <laughs> that song you are singing, yeah. where did you hear it? Wow, the song is all over the place. In fact, they are having the music concert over there and it, it has been wonderful. Where, where exactly? Oh, uh, you don't even know. They straight down. If not, I'm waiting for my friend. They just walk straight down. Yeah, Thank it's you. along the streets there. By your right hand side, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you, my You're sister. welcome, sir. Sorry, sir.
Me, the chairman of Ayabola Dastro. music. I kept singing and dancing in my room despite the challenges. Sometimes with my friends and whenever I have the opportunity. In my first year in the university, I met a comedian from the creative arts department who introduced me to the school dance troupe and I performed in many programs within and outside the school. Then in my third year, I registered Ayambola Dance Troupe Limited. And last year in law school, after performing at an event, a guy walked up to me and asked if I would like to be the product ambassador of Newton Multivitamins. Yes. Newton Multivitamins? You made your brand ambassador of that company? But how come I didn't know all this? The contract value is about 15 million naira. Yes. Wow. And I'm supposed to organize a program of this nature at least four times a day. That is once a year. Sir, you have a visitor. Okay. Okay. Let's Mrs. Oji, why are you here? Charles is about to be signed as one of our great ambassadors and he will begin a nationwide tour. You mean my own son is about to become the product ambassador of the same company I've been laboring for? For real, sir. Huh? Hmm. Okay, please, can you come to our office tomorrow so that we seal the deal? Mr. Matthew, please, can we go back to the hospital now? No, doctor. I want to dance. But you know you can't. Please, doctor. I lost the three things that matter most in my life. I lost my God. I lost my family, and I lost my dance. I have found my family again. But please, doctor, please, Charles, give me this last dance. Please, give me this last dance. Aha! Welcome to Ayebola Dance to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the front, to the back. <laughs> that is how easy it can be. Every day of my life, 
There is something I want to do Something God has given me As a gift to you God's ability in me That I cannot deny You will banjo Never by me we do Let me die Every step as a need me Let me die And my mouth is ready to set me down And my legs are ready to let me down Oh banjo, am I by me we owe Let me down Oh banjo, am I by me we owe Let me down My brother, my sister It is time to dance Dance away your sorrow Nothing can hold you down I will dance, I will dance Oh, yeah, yeah You know banjo, am I by me we you Let me dance hey, I want to dance Let me dance And my mouth is ready to Let me dance And my legs are ready to Let me down Oh banjo, am I by me we you Let me down Oh banjo, am I by me we you Let me down Aha! Trumpet! Ever seen a man on his deathbed being happy? Mm. I've never seen so many, and that is because most people don't know that sadness adds nothing to life but problems. Hmm. What if the doctor were to tell you that you have less than one hour to live? Tell me, what would you do? I would be grateful to God for giving me a very rare opportunity to know when I'm going to die so that I can prepare I will ask for forgiveness for like 10 minutes. Pray for my family for 10 minutes. And then spend the rest of my days praising Him. It's, it, it's easy to talk. You've never been in my shoes. You've never been there. On the contrary, I've been. <laughs> I have a fully grown brain tumor. I was supposed to have died. 
And you're telling me to be happy? Is it possible? Is it possible? Is it possible? I have two rotting kidneys. And I can die soon. Hmm. I have always known that someday I'm going to die. Now that I know what is of interest to me is life after death. Hmm. It is appointed unto man to die once. And after then, judgment. Ah. Now that we know we are going to die, what should be of interest to us is life after death. Mm. <laughs> Everybody here or not will live here someday. The rich, the poor, the healthy, and the sick. We will all live here, either by death or rapture. <laughs> but we are going to be somewhere forever. And that is what I want you to be thinking about, my friend. <laughs> I knew him once, but I lost him along the way. <laughs> Commend about it. He said, When next we are having a program like this, that you'll be invited, even this five minutes, and you are not coming alone, that you come with your band. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, so sir. it is well with you, sir. Thank God you, bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. Okay. It is well with you. Thank you, sir. My regards to the family. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank Take you, care sir. of yourself, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm going to Abanoja. Can I get a bus going to Abanoja? Yes, you can get a bus. You just trek to that junction and you cross over. And you ask them. Sir. Yes, sir. Is this place trackable like this? Just 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's trackable. Okay, okay sir. Thank, thank, you, sir. thank you, sir. Yeah, but the guest to the family. Hey, <laughs> sorry, sir. Sorry. Yes, sir. And you said the pastor enjoyed our administration. Indeed, he enjoyed it. Uh, and he did not uh, give you any message for us. Oh, I'm sorry. He said when, when you are ministering, okay, God revealed to him that you were going to go many places. And you shall be well, you will be known all over the world. It is well with you, sir. And you said this place is like Yes, it's true. Hello, sir. Yes, I'm on my way. It is well with you, sir. God bless you. God will go with you, sir. Forgotten that you told me that your forefathers have been using their drumming skill to praise and glorify masquerade and idols. And you said in that vision, God wants to use you to correct the wrongs of your forefathers, even to be using your own skill to glorify God. Have you forgotten you have a vision? My brother, what you said is correct. I'm not expecting anything. But I'm the one that comes to you and tell you that I have a vision. I'm not coming to you to give you another vision now. Please, what I need now is a job. Just help me. I need a job. Forget about drum. 
I young boy, I young boy, or whatever. I quit. I'm now bola. What will happen to the church? The church, I quit. And your band? My brother. The church, I quit. The band, I quit. I need a job now. You know the nature of my brother's job. I don't mind. I don't mind anything for now. All I, all I need now is a job. There's no problem. If you insist, I will link I, you up with I him. Insist. Let's see how I it insist. goes. I need a job. Let's go. Just come into the car. Please tell me more. My friend, please tell me more. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <sighs> 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 Spent my life hmm. pursuing money. Hmm. I give out money hmm. to people, but it never brought me joy. Hmm. I want to do something good before I go. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> I want you to, I want to give my kidneys. Okay. So, where's that new? To him? Yes. Wow. Wow. And I will pay for his surgery. Oh. Oh. Do that for me, doctor. Thank you. I will. I will. I will. I will. I will. You need to rest now. You need to rest. Okay, now. Take it easy. 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 Take it Please excuse me, let me quickly get the doctor. Sorry, sorry, take it easy. Sorry. My hunger don't die. Sorry. My hunger don't die. Sorry. Oh God, very nice man. Hey! Oh God, suck me. Forgive me. Sack again. Forgive again. Hey. Madam. Oh God, don't die. Leave me to. He leave me. Ah. As I drive, oh God. Madam. I go drive you everywhere where you go. If you go Abuja, I go drive you. If you go Kano, I go drive you. If you go market, market. If you buy pepper, you buy food, I will still drive with you. Hey, my yoga. Chineke, my yoga don't die. Ewo, Chineke. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
Oga. Hey. Oga, I don't yam to. Oga, they good well, well. Madam, person they get say, Oga send down from here from come see you. Let him come in. Yeah, hmm? yeah. Sorry. Oga. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm Tunde Ulukoya. I, I believe this is Mr. Abola Matthew resident. Oh my God. Yes. How may I help you? I'm here to deliver a video which he made. But it's late now. So sorry, ma. I think he actually foresaw it. May you so rest in perfect peace. Um, um, right here with the video on my phone. How can I send it? Charles. I do not know by what time you will be watching this video. Whether morning, noon, or night. But one thing I know is that I will be dead by the time you are watching this. I am a man who has made so many mistakes in my lifetime. And unfortunately, I never realized it until I had a mere seven hours to live on this planet Earth. Hmm. Ruth. Ruth. My darling, one and only Ruth. You know I love you. You are all that matters to me. But I'm so sorry that I failed to show you this in the past 17 years. I'm so sorry. I remember when we had nothing. We had no food to eat. We had no clothes to wear. We didn't even have a house to call our own. But when I think of the love that you have for me, mm, I always felt as if I owned the whole world. Charles, <laughs> my own dancing angel. Ah, other children cried, but you sang. I want you to know that I did not discourage you from taking up dance as a profession because you didn't know how to dance. No, it wasn't because of inability you were so beautiful as a dancer. It was only because as a father, I thought you would never be able to provide for your own home if you took up dancing as a profession. Charity. My beautiful daughter, I loved you from the first moment I saw you in the hospital. I took one look at your cute face and I fell in love with you. I'm so sorry I never showed you that love. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You can ask your mother, I loved you. In fact, I remember. <laughs> I remember when your mother had to pick up a job at the local government. I was the one who would carry you all around. I even packed you in the marketplace. I wasn't ashamed of you, Charity. 
That was the love that I had for you. I did everything for you. I changed your diet, I changed your napkin. I washed your bum bum when you soiled yourself. Ah. The only thing I couldn't do was to breastfeed you. And that wasn't my fault. I wasn't as endowed as your mother. But that is how much I love you, Jack. I had zero tolerance for poverty the moment I lost Clara. Because of a near 7,000 error, I watched my daughter die. Mm. And the church frustrated me. Because of the money I took, and I used it to take care of my dying daughter, my own church where I labored, held me at the throat and choked life out of me. And then I turned my back on God. I began to pursue money at all costs. And in the process, I lost my family. I lost that which was most important to me. My wife kept on calling my attention to it. She saw me slipping away from the family, but I shut her up. I turned my back on Ayombola Mati. I disbanded my group, threw away my drops because I thought dancing could never bring me anything but poverty and frustration. I became Bola Mathe, a man that tours the entire country, a man that made more money than his family could ever spend, yet he lost the family in the process. Ruth, my darling wife, I want you to know that I never stopped loving you. Even though I stopped showing it in the past 17 years, but my heart remains true to you. Goodbye, my love.